Hello EAB developers, welcome back to another lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to create a small lesson in customizing the grid view. So if you go to the branches section, right now every row is given this plain CSS rules. For example, we have active branches and we have inactive branches. So what I want to do is I want to let the user know what are the inactive inactive branches and, and and active branches from here so how i'm going to do this is i'm going to add a danger class to a particular row if that row is uh, inactive if that row has a uh, inactive status for example if we go and change this branch status to inactive uh, and go back to the branches page there is no uh, identification of this I mean we can't identify the inactive branch straight away I mean this will be really helpful if you are doing uh, items product list and we want to know what are the active and inactive product list or the users so do, to do this it's actually not that difficult we have to create uh, give this a class uh, this row a class if the status is inactive so to do this uh, let's go to our backend views folder and branches index right now we have we can give this something called the row options and this will take in a function and actually we have to pass the model and what we are doing is if a particular model this model status the branch status for example let's copy it from here branch status is equal equal to uh, inactive then we have to give this uh, give this row a class so we are going to return an array we give it, give it return a class and give it the class of danger. So now let's check this out. Right, there you go. Right now we can simply identify that this branch is inactive because it's been colored by the danger class. It, it's been given the danger class. For, it's the same thing we can do. We can do to, uh, uh, for example, if we, it is active we can give it another class for example we can give it a success class oops oh we have to check so we have to check whether the model branch status is if it is active then give it the class of success so you can do this as much as you want so you can actually have a different color for different uh, different statuses for example it can be uh, active inactive it can be available not available coming soon all those sort of statuses you can check it here and you can give it a different color so that way you can easily customize this grid uh, to look it make it look better uh, wha so how this happens is every time every when a, and a, when a new row is added every time it will go through this row options and find out the particular status and gives it the particular class so every row added to this grid will go through this row options and find out what is its color I mean what is what is the class given if you want to give it class if not you can give it a blank, blank as well you can say return oh, we don't actually want that for now we don't actually want the else if statement because we have only two statuses that is possible either it's inactive or it's active so leave it as that yeah so that's a simple lesson. Uh, so stay tuned for more. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and give your comments, feedback so that I can improve my lessons and to let me know what else you want to know about the EA framework. 
Okay then, have a good day. Take care. Bye.